Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your Eclipse IDE to give support for Maven, TestNG, and Eclipse. I've recently been doing some work uh, coding some Selenium projects for some automation scripting, and I thought I'd make this tutorial on how to set up Eclipse. Uh, this one would be specifically on your Mac to do that. So the first thing you do is have Eclipse installed. Uh, I'm running the 3.4 version, not the newest one. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead here, go into Help, and I'm going to go into Software Updates. I'm going to go into Available Software. Now this is going to be a little bit different depending on what uh, version you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a site here. I'm going to go ahead I, to save on time, do a little cheating here. I'm going to set up Maven first. So we're going to go ahead and just copy that. And I'll have that if you're watching this on YouTube. I will have that on the side there or below. So as you can see, it's going to go there. We're going to go ahead and check that box. We're going to click Install. This can take a few minutes here. Just hit finish. I like to do these one by one. Uh, you can do multiple installs, but sometimes that takes a little bit longer, so just do it this way. These tools that, I mean, Maven and TestNG, these are real tools that can help in your testing. When you're done, you're going to want to hit yes. It's going to basically restart Eclipse. And yours might not say that. It might say something different depending on the version you have. coming up. So we're going to click on that to go to the workbench and then we're going to go right back. Software update. Available. Add site. So as you can see, this one that one took a little bit faster. Maven basically will help you get dependencies. You don't have to go when you're working with Java to get jar files and different things like that. Uh, TestNG, uh, it's basically like a testing framework. It is very helpful uh, to use. So the last thing we're going to do, this is optional. Uh, if you work with S uh, SVN repositories, this is basically going to give Eclipse the capability of working with that. Now, you might get an error with, uh, with Subclips. Um, that basically will happen is if you don't have the Java, or not the Java, the SVN client installed. Sometimes with a lot of these packages, you'll get the I accept messages. Just go ahead and read through if you want. Now, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create a project and I'm going to show you the uh, the code basic or not the code but 
I'm just going to show you how to set it up to get that environment properly working since I have a few minutes here. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to file, new Java project. And we're just going to call this tutorials. You can leave this at use default. I'm going to go ahead and click finish here. I'm going to go ahead and right click on tutorials. Go to Maven defaults. Just for this tutorial, we can just leave it that way. Whenever you work with Maven, you're going to see this POM file. This POM file basically is how Maven knows basically where to go to get stuff. Um, basically, right now it's updating. It's updating the indexes. That's why it's taking so long. Uh, if this was like your second or third time setting up a Maven project, this wouldn't take as long. See, so yeah, as you can see. As you can basically it's do it's downloading the basic Maven dependencies, what Maven needs to be able to work in the background. And like I said before, if you've worked with Java before, you might have to work with a certain certain set of jar, uh, jar files. Uh, what this will do is based off what classes you use, Maven will go out to the internet and grab those for you, which again is a very nice tool. Uh, I think I'm basically running out of time here. Uh, we're going to give this a another minute here and see if this works. So what you're going to want to do is I like to add first folder labeled a little differently. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the palm.xml. I'm just going to come in here, paste that code, and we're going to go ahead and save it. And what that's doing is that is actually going out and it is grabbing these dependencies here. Uh, one of them is Selenium, which I like to work with. So basically from there, you just right click Maven, update dependencies, and go throughout that work. And then once that's done, you go to project clean. Can't do it because it's still doing that, but I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. Sorry I had to go fast. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube has a limit. So, uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.